Ionization of air surrounding the high voltage transmission lines causing the conductors to glow, producing a hissing noise, is called corona discharge or corona effect. Corona effect in transmission lines, this phenomenon occurs when the electrostatic field across the transmission line conductors produces the condition of potential gradient. The air gets ionized when the potential gradient at the conductor surface reaches the value of 30 kV by cm at normal pressure and temperature. In transmission lines, conductors are surrounded by the air. Air acts as a dielectric medium. When the electric field intensity is less than 30 kV by cm, the induced current between the conductor is not sufficient to ionize the air. However, when the voltage of air surrounding the conductor exceeds the value of 30 kV by cm, the charging current starts to flow through the air, that is air has been ionized. The ionized air act as a virtual conductor, producing a hissing sound with a luminous violet glow. There is a hissing noise with violet glow phenomenon termed as corona effect which is commonly observed in high voltage tra transmission lines. The corona effects leads to high voltage drop and energy loss along with release of ozone gas. There is a need to be aware of this phenomenon and its effects on the transmission system. A corona discharge is an electrical discharge caused by the ionization of a fluid such as air surrounding a conductor carrying a high voltage. It represents a local region where the air has undergone electrical breakdown and become conductive, allowing charge to continuously leak off the conductor into the air. Corona rings, also known as grating rings or anti-corona rings, are specialized devices installed on high-voltage transmission lines to control the electric field distribution and mitigate the corona effect. These rings are typically mounted on the hardware of transmission line towers, such as insulator strings or support structures, and are strategically positioned along the length of the line. The primary purpose of corona rings is to modify the electric field surrounding the conductors in order to reduce the intensity of the electric field at critical points and minimize the likelihood of corona discharge. Corona rings are typically constructed from materials with high electrical conductivity and corrosion resistance, such as aluminum or copper. They are often shaped as concentric rings or cylinders with smooth surfaces to facilitate the desired redistribution of electric field lines. Corona rings play a critical role in controlling corona discharge and optimizing the performance of high-voltage transmission, transmission lines. Understanding their function and design Occurs when energy is dissipated as a result of the corona effect in high-voltage transmission lines. These losses manifest as heat and light energy due to the ionization of air surrounding the conductors. Corona loss is the other major type of power loss in transmission lines. Essentially, corona loss is caused by the ionization of air molecules near the transmission line conductors. These coronas do not spark across lines, but rather carry current hence the loss in the air along the wire. Corona discharge in transmission lines can lead to hissing cackling noises, a glow, and the smell of ozone generated from the breakdown and recombination of O2 molecules. The color and distribution of this glow depends on the phrase of the AC signal at any given moment in time. Positive coronas are smooth and blue in color, while negative coronas are red and spotty. Corona loss only occurs when the line-to-line -line voltage exceeds the corona threshold. Unlike resistive loss which where amount of power lost was a fixed percentage of input, the percentage of power loss due to corona is a function of the signal's voltage. Corona discharge power losses are also highly dependent on the weather and temperature. Theory, the corona factor equation was empirically derived by F.W. Peak and published in 1911. In a later publication, he modified the original equation and he showed that the total amount of power loss in a wire due to the corona effect was equal to the equation. The radius of the conductor has a large effect on the total amount of corona loss. One way of getting lines with a, the larger effective radius is through the use of bundles, where two to six separate, but close lines are kept at the same voltage via intermittent connectors. This reduces the amount of metal needed to achieve a given radius and corona loss. Factors affecting corona, the phenomenon of corona is affected by the physical state of the atmosphere as well as by the conditions of the line. The following are the factors upon which corona depends. Conductor size, the corona effect depends upon the ship and conditions of the conductors. The rough and irregular surface will give rise to more corona because unevenness of the surface decreases the value of breakdown voltage. Thus a stranded conductor has irregular surface and hence gives rise to more corona than a solid conductor. Spacing between conductors, if the spacing between the conductor is made very layer as compared to their diameters, there may not be any corona effect. It is because layer distance between the conductors reduces the electrostatic stresses at the conductor surface, thus avoiding corona formation. 
Supply voltage, as the electrical corona discharge mainly depends upon the electric field intensity produced by the applied system voltage. Voltage. Therefore, if the applied voltage is high, the corona discharge will cause excessive corona loss in the transmission lines. On contrary, the corona is negligible in the low voltage transmission lines, due to the inadequate amount of electric field required for the breakdown of air. Conductor surface, the corona effect depends upon the shape, material and conditions of the conductors. The rough and irregular surface i.e., unevenness of the surface, decreases the value of breakdown voltage. This decrease in breakdown voltage due to concentrated electric field at rough spots, give rise to more corona effect. The roughness of conductor is usually caused due to the deposition of dirt, dust, and scratching. Raindrops, snow, fog and condensation accumulated on the conductor surface are also sources of surface irregularities that can increase corona. Air density factor, air density factor also determines the corona loss in transmission lines. The corona loss is inversely proportional to air density factor. Power loss is high due to corona in transmission lines that are passing through a hilly area because in a hilly area the density of air is low. Spacing between conductors, design engineers calculate the spacing between the two conductors in the transmission line after careful and extensive research. As the phenomenon of corona discharge is affected by the conductor spacing. If the distance between two conduct conductors is very large as compared to the diameter of conductor, the corona effect may not happen. It is because the larger distance between conductors reduces the electrostatic stress at the conductor surface, thus avoiding corona formation. Atmosphere, as corona is formed due to ionization of air surrounding the conductors, therefore, it is affected by the physical state of atmosphere. In the stormy weather, the number of ions is more than normal weather. The decrease in the value of breakdown voltage is followed by the increase in the number of ions. As a result of it, corona occurs at much less voltage as compared to the breakdown voltage value in fair weather. Methods for reducing corona losses, the corona loss can be reduced by using conductors with large diameters, the voltage at which the corona occurs can be increased by increasing the size of the conductor and hence, the corona loss can be reduced. Hollow conductors, these are used to increase the effective diameter of the conductor without using any additional material. Since, corona loss is inversely proportional to the diameter of the conductor, corona loss decreases with an increase in the diameter. Bundled conductors, these are made up of two or more subconductors and is used as a single phase conductor. Optimized conductor design, increasing the diameter of conductors or bundling multiple smaller conductors together reduces the electric field intensity around the conductors, lowering the likelihood of corona discharge and minimizing corona losses. Control electric field distribution, installing corona rings or grating rings at strategic locations along the transmission line helps redistribute the electric field, reducing its intensity at critical points and mitigating corona discharge, thereby minimizing corona losses. Improve insulator performance, using insulators with higher pollution flashover performance and better contamination resistance helps mitigate the effects of corona discharge on insulator surfaces, reducing surface leakage current and corona lo losses. Optimize transmission line routing, planning the route of transmission lines to avoid areas with high pollution levels or adverse environmental conditions minimizes surface contamination on insulators, thereby reducing the risk of corona discharge and associated corona losses. Increase conductor size, using conductors with larger diameters reduces the electric field intensity around the conductors, lowering the likelihood of corona discharge and minimizing corona losses. Additionally, increasing the size of conductors reduces the surface current density, which can contribute to corona formation. How corona effect is reduced it has been observed that the intense corona effects are observed at a working voltage of 33 kV or above. On the substations or bus bars rated for 33 kV and higher voltages, highly ionized air may cause flashover in the insulators or between the phases, causing considerable damage to the equipment if careful designing is not made to reduce the corona effect. The corona effect can be reduced by the following methods, by increasing conductor size, the voltage at which corona occurs can be raised by increasing conductor size. Hence, the corona effect may be reduced. This is one of the reasons that ACSR conductors which have a larger cross-sectional area are used in transmission lines. By increasing conductor spacing, the corona effect can be eliminated by increasing the spacing between conductors, which raises the voltage at which corona occurs. However, increase in conductor spacing is limited due to the cost of supporting structure as bigger cross arms and supports to accompany the increase in conductor spacing, increases the cost of transmission system. By using corona ring, the intensity of electric field is high at the point where the conductor curvature is sharp. 
Therefore, corona discharge occurs first at the sharp points, edges, and corners. In order to mitigate electric field, corona rings are employed at the terminals of very high voltage equipment. Corona rings are metallic rings of toroidal shaped, which are fixed at the end of bushings and insulator strings. This metallic ring distributes the charge across a wider area due to its smooth round shape which significantly reduces the potential gradient at the surface of the conductor below the critical disruptive value and thus preventing corona discharge. Advantages of corona losses, limitation of voltage surges Corona discharge can help dissipate excess energy and limit the amplitude of voltage surges caused by lightning strikes or switching operations, thus protecting the transmission line equipment from damage. Reduction of audible noise, while corona discharge produces audible noise, the presence of corona can reduce the noise generated by wind-induced conductor vibrations. This is because corona can stabilize the electric field around the conductors, minimizing disruptive vibrations. Disadvantages of corona losses, energy losses Corona losses result in the conversion of electrical energy into heat and light, leading to reduced efficiency in the transmission system. This translates to higher operating costs and decreased overall system efficiency. Insulation damage Intense corona discharge can cause degradation and erosion of insulator surfaces, compromising their effectiveness and increasing the risk of flashover, which can lead to power outages and equipment damage. A non-sinusoidal voltage drop occurs in the transmission line due to non-sinusoidal corona current, which causes interference with neighboring communication circuits due to electromagnetic transients and electrostatic induction effects. Ozone gas is produced due to the formation of corona, which chemically reacts with the conductor and causes corrosion. The energy dissipated in the system due to corona effect is called as corona loss. The power loss due to corona is undesirable and uneconomical. The efficiency of transmission line is highly reduced due to the loss of power or energy. Corona losses in transmission lines occur due to the ionization of the air surrounding the conductors, which results in the dissipation of energy. Here's a more detailed explanation of how corona losses happen in transmission lines. Electric field formation at the high voltages used in transmission lines typically above 110 kV, the electric field around the conductors becomes very intense. The electric field strength is highest at the surface of the conductors, where it can exceed the dielectric strength of the surrounding air. Air ionization, when the electric field strength exceeds the dielectric strength of the air, the air becomes ionized, meaning that the air molecules are split into positively and negatively charged particles. This process is called corona discharge or corona effect. Energy dissipation, the ionized air particles collide with neutral air molecules, transferring some of their kinetic energy to the neutral molecules. This transfer of energy results in the dissipation of power, which is known as corona loss or corona discharge loss. Factors affecting corona losses Conductor size and surface condition Smaller conductors or conductors with irregular surfaces tend to have higher electric field gradients, leading to increased corona losses. Transmission voltage Higher transmission voltages generally result in higher corona losses, as the electric field strength is proportional to the voltage. Weather conditions, factors such as humidity, air pressure, and precipitation can affect the ionization of the air and the magnitude of corona losses. Consequences of corona losses reduce transmission efficiency, the energy loss due to corona discharge represents a portion of the power that is not delivered to the load, reducing the overall transmission efficiency. Increased operating costs The energy loss to corona discharge needs to be compensated by generating additional power, leading to higher electricity generation and transmission costs. Potential for interference Corona discharge can generate audible noise and electromagnetic interference, which can impact nearby communication systems and equipment. Foggy weather brings a number of challenges for power generation and transmission. Corona discharge fog impacts power transmission in high voltage lines by causing corona discharge. When fog surrounds the conductors, water droplets can accumulate on the surface, altering the electric field around the lines. This can lead to corona discharge, where the air around the conductors ionizes and forms a conductive path for the electricity. Corona discharge results in energy loss, audible noise, and can also lead to increased wear on the transmission equipment. Corona effect results in energy loss as it dissipates the energy in form of corona discharge thus reducing the overall efficiency of the power transmission. This corona discharge also produces audible noise which is disruptive especially in residential areas. Corona discharge also results in deterioration of insulators and transmission lines over time, thus reducing their life and increased frequency of maintenance. Transformer cooling issues foggy conditions impede the cooling of transformers. Transformers dissipate heat during operation, and if the fog restricts heat dissipation, it could lead to overheating and reduced efficiency. 
Corrosion concerns high humidity associated with fog contributes to corrosion of metal components in power generation and transmission systems, potentially impacting the longevity and performance of equipment. Insulation challenges fog and high humidity affects the insulating properties of certain materials, potentially leading to electrical insulation issues.